drawing your first building. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of some of the basic functions and commands you will need to know to operate the Post Frame Manager Takeoff and Estimating System. Since it will be the link you use most often, we'll click the Create New Building Project button now. When you do, this is the screen that you will see. Note that Post Frame Manager always tells you what to do next, with instructions written on every screen. To start a building, the first step is selecting a grid setting. The 6 inch setting will allow you to create buildings up to about 170 feet in length, depending upon your screen resolution. Plenty long for the majority of the buildings you will create. Should you need to create a building that is longer than that, just choose the 12 inch setting from the drop down list. Next, choose the interior elevation of your building. So that we are all speaking of the same thing, we define this elevation as being from grade to the bottom cord of the truss. Select the elevation from the drop down list. Note that you can always change this later if you need to. You will never have to start over to change any setting in Post Frame Manager. Next, choose the roof load package reflecting the loading and style of construction that will apply to the building you are about to create. From the drop down menu, choose the roof load package that reflects the requirements, wind and snow loads and so forth, for your area. Note that many default settings change automatically to match the style you choose. When you have made your selections, click the Accept button. Now you're ready to draw your building. Move your cursor into the drawing grid with your mouse. Starting somewhere comfortable in the upper left hand portion of the screen, hold the left mouse button down and drag down and to the right. Note the dimensions of the outline that are shown on the screen as you do so. When you get the overall dimensions you want, release the mouse button. Don't worry if you are not precise. The dimension tuning window that appears automatically allows you to make any necessary adjustments. When you have the dimensions you want, Click the OK button shown. Notice that the Roofline Details screen automatically appears. Choose the roof style you want from the drop down options shown. The program assumes that the roof ridge will run parallel to the longest axis of the building. Clicking the Force Ridge Direction checkbox will change the ridge to be perpendicular to that axis for a building that's wider than it is long. You can set the roof pitch on this screen, which you can always change later if you need to. Click the Overhang Radio button to determine any desired overhang on the side or end walls. When you click the Heel button, you will note that a heel height in inches is automatically displayed in the window shown. If the heel height of your trusses vary from the numbers shown in this box, you will need to contact BizPorts for information on how to update that information. When you've made your selections, click the Accept All button shown. Notice that the building outline turns blue momentarily before the building attributes screen appears. The items shown on this screen allow you to control virtually every aspect of the building. The first thing to notice is that the menu is divided into two main sections, frequently adjusted tasks and main attributes and tasks. System tools, which are discussed in another instructional video, appear at the bottom of the list. The choices you will make in the primary sections are very straightforward. The items you will visit most frequently are those listed under the Frequently Adjusted Tasks menu. Click on Roofing Material and you will see a graphic showing you exactly what we are referring to. You will see similar graphics associated with every menu choice. Beneath the graphic is a window where all of your roofing choices are listed. Simply click on the item you want. Click the Accept button to record your choice and move to the next item in the list. You will make a similar choice for siding material. Note that many of the items in this menu are preceded with a plus sign. This is the typical Windows convention. Click on the plus sign and a number of additional sub-menu items will appear. Click on one of those items and make your choice as previously discussed. Proceed through the complete list of frequently adjusted tasks and any related sub-menu items. Now let's take a look at the main attributes and tasks menu. These menu items react the same way as the items already discussed, but there is another box that deserves your attention. That's the check box at the bottom of each screen labeled These Settings Are Saved As Default Values. This box is a real time saver. The items listed under this menu are those that you will rarely, if ever, change. Therefore, you will want to establish defaults for all of these items the first time you use the system. 
then you will never have to visit these items again unless you need to make a change for some special circumstance. If you do, just select the choice you want and click the Accept button, but unless you want to establish a new default setting, don't check the box to record the new setting as a default value. Also, because PostFrame Manager gives you wall-by-wall -wall control, when you select a menu for which information on any wall can be entered, you will see a second box at the bottom of the screen labeled Apply this value to all walls. Check that box before clicking the Accept button and your choice will be applied to every wall without your having to go through the same menu choices over and over again. Work your way from the top to the bottom of this menu paying attention to the on-screen graphics for each item so that you know precisely the choice you are making. Once again, note that instructions for virtually every item are shown along with the graphics to guide you along. From here on, making choices for each new building is a very quick process because your construction preferences are stored in the system. When you've made your selections, click the Return button at the bottom of the screen to be returned to the drawing grid. Now you see your building with posts placed as you directed from the Attributes menu. Before moving on, pay attention to the compass in the upper right hand corner of the drawing grid. You can orient the building on the property where it will be located by adjusting that compass. Click on the compass in the yellow shaded area and notice how the directions on the compass change to reflect a new orientation for the building. Now, when you edit the building attributes, you will be adjusting settings as they relate to how the building will ultimately sit on the property. Remember to save your work. Save early and often is a good model to live by. This ends the Drawing Your First Building instructional video.